rich trades and overpays in Roblox Adopt Me. If you guys are new to my channel and you would like to be a member of the Astro Army, all you have to do is give this video a very big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and turn on post notifications. And also, you guys, be sure to join my Roblox group, link down below in the description. We have a lot of fun over there. And also, be sure to follow my Roblox profile because I have my joins on for followers all the time. But without further ado, let's just get straight into the tips. Alright you guys, so the first thing that you want to do is work to get better pets first. So the, the key to getting overpays in Adami is you have to have good pets that people are actually looking for and that are in high demand. For example, let's open up our Adami journal. You can start with the commons. Some high demand common pets are actually pretty much only the chicken. The chicken is a very high demand common pet. So you can start by trying to get chickens and making them neon. If you make a neon chicken, people tend to overpay for these. So you just have to kind of find pets that are in high demand or value and try and make them neon. You can do, you should do the commons and or uncommons just because I think rares, ultras, and legendary will be a little too much for you guys to do at first when you're just starting out to try and get overpays for, for that. So yeah, just kind of do like the lower tier high demand pets and make them into neons or if you can mega and then you should get overpays for them because they're high demand. So once you do that, then the next thing you want to do is go into a rich server. So let's really quickly go over to Adami's page. Alright you guys, so we are at Adami's page now. All you have to do is click on servers here. Scroll down past your private servers. And to get into a rich trading server, all you have to do is look at these first three servers here. And you've got to find the one with the most people who have Robux. This is so that you can join a server with the quote unquote richest people just because they probably since they have robux on their avatar it means they probably did spend some robux on adopt me but it doesn't necessarily mean that so just kind of like experiment with servers and also you guys don't be discouraged if you are not as rich as them my definition of rich in Adami is when you love all of the pets you have. So don't be discouraged if you are not as rich as some of the people you join. And you can also experiment with different servers. You can also try and find servers that are as rich as you. I have found multiple servers of people that are as rich as me. And that's where I get the most overpays for my pets because they have similar pets to me. And it's just easier. So once you find a server you want to join, all you have to do is click on the join button here. And this works on mobile too. It works on any device. Um, just click the join button and open up Roblox and it might say requested game is full. Just wait 10 to 15 minutes if it still says it's full. Try a new server, but it shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes to get into the server. Another thing you guys can do to find a rich ser trading server is to go onto YouTube and search up rich trading server. And then it, you should search rich trading server adopt me link and we'll find it. So here it is. Then you can find like a bunch of these. There are other tutorials on how to get into rich trading servers. And then there are some YouTubers who actually have their own rich trading server. I don't have a rich trading server, but I do have a server where it's like an Ash Army hangout server. And you guys can also trade with each other too. That is in my group. Another thing you guys can do to get rich trades and overpays in Adopt Me is you should use small ads. So small ads for me are examples like eggs, potions, vehicles, toys, and just things that you can find inside of the Adami inventory. You can do strollers, pet wear, but you don't want to overpay here. So don't put in like a legendary hoverboard or you don't want to put in like a legendary growing flower hat or something like that. Don't overpay for the pets um, because you're actually trying to get a little bit of overpays. Okay guys, so I actually have mentioned this website before in one of my past videos, but this is another way that you can try and get overpays for your pet and see in advance if you're getting overpays for your pet. So let's say I am trying to trade my Cerberus for a win. My normal Cerberus, no potion, it's not raised at all, it's newborn, and I'm trying to get a win for my Cerberus, right? So you want to try and see like people that might trade a cobra for these because they're both robux pets um so let's go ahead and we're going to put in a cobra here um and then just normal as well like you can just you know find the cobra and the cerberus and they'll both be you know the same thing okay so here you go then you want to click win for lose and it would say it's a win but if you literally get a trade that's um a cobra for a cerberus then it would be a win because it says it's a win 
And they're both Robux pets, but the Cobra's worth a little bit more, I think, probably because it is newer, and there's probably a little bit less of them in-game, but they are um, losing their value quite a lot right now. But still, it says it is a win. Another example is if you're trying to trade ride potions. I really, really recommend trading ride potions because if you just trade ride potions, you can get a legendary pet that's a Robux pet. So let's say we get an offer, a ride potion, for a, you can get a Cerberus for a ride potion. I've actually gotten a Robo Dog many times for my ride potions, and they're like 350 Robux more than a ride potion, so that's a big win. You can also get rideable legendary Robux pets for this. So let's say like a Robodog that's rideable, you can get that too. Like you can get a rideable legendary for just a ride potion. That is a huge win. Well guys, I know that this video is a little bit shorter than all of my other tutorial videos, but I really hope that you enjoyed and this helps you be a better trader in Adopt Me. If you enjoyed and you would like to become a member of the Ash Army once again, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on your post notification bell, and also leave this video a very big thumbs up, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this video and what other tutorials you guys would like to see, and if you want to do something fun, leave a comment as well with the question of the day in the description. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye!